Hello Union Chapel family. My name is Tanya Locklear and I am your PTO treasurer and today we're going to be reading Booker T. Washington. Do you believe you can do anything if you work hard enough? Booker T. Washington believed he could. Washington believed that people should work hard to make their lives better. He helped former African-American slaves get an education and find jobs. Washington was born on a Virginia tobacco farm in 1856. His mother was a slave on the farm. Washington's father was a white farmer who lived nearby. Washington was forced to work as a slave on the same farm as his mother. Sometimes he carried school books for the farmer's daughter. Washington wished he could go to school, but slaves were not allowed to get an education. President Abraham Lincoln ordered that all slaves be freed in 1865. This was called the Emancipation Proclamation. Then Washington and his family moved to Malden, West Virginia. Washington was finally able to go to school. Washington took a job in the salt mines to help his family. He was only nine years old. Washington began to work at 4 a.m. so he could finish his job in the mines before he went to school. Washington began attending the Hampton Institute in 1872. This was a new school for African Americans in Hampton, Virginia. Washington graduated from Hampton Institute in 1875 and, be and became a teacher in Malden. Washington moved to Tuskegee, Alabama in 1881. The state of Alabama gave him $2,000 to start a college for African American students. Washington opened the Tuskegee Institute in 1881. The Tuskegee Institute be be began with only one teacher and 30 students. Washington worked hard to improve the school and attract more students and teachers. By 1900, the school had more than 1,900 students. Students at the Tuskegee Institute learned about farming and business. They produced their own food. They built all the school buildings. Washington believed African Americans should have the same rights as everyone else. He gave a famous speech in Atlanta in 1895. He said people of different races could work together even if they stayed separate in their own private lives. Washington became very popular with whites and many African Americans. Other African American leaders such as W.E.B. Du Bois disagreed with Washington. Du Bois believed African Americans should be equal in all ways to whites. He thought Washington hurt blacks by saying they sh could be separate but equal. Washington agreed, but he knew it would take a while for many whites to feel the same way. In the meantime, Washington secretly donated money to efforts to help African Americans gain equal rights. He also, helped, he also helped change laws that were unfair to them. Booker T. Washington received a special degree from Harvard University in 1896. He wrote 12 books about his life experiences. Washington died on November the 14th of 1915 at the age of 59. People of all races continue to respect him today. Thank you.